Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another edition of the vlog. Today, we are riding the southern coast to the Friendship Belt in San Pedro, California. I'm with Matt. He's pretty stoked out because he just got some new pipes on his T100 right there in front of me. Sounds really good. And so we're still in a little bit of the June gloom. You're going to see breaks of shade and fog and then like, you know, spots of bright sunlight. And this is usual. This is the usual weather for June uh, and here in Southern California. Um, by July it bakes off and then you're, <laughs> then you're wishing you had a little shade. But it is actually a lot more foggy than I was expecting it to be. And my house, which is a little bit more inland than the coastline here, it takes me about five minutes to get to the coast, maybe 10. Um, eh, more about five minutes to get here. But anyway, it's sunny. It's bright and sunny at my house, which is just five minutes from this coastline. And look at this, this is just pure fog. So when you hear people talk about June gloom, the right here that is exactly what they're talking about it's kind of cool though man it's like you're on a movie set or something Kong Skull Island I decided to wear the jean jacket today, man, and I gotta be honest with you, it's a little chilly. Should've wore the leather jacket. people write in and ask about my vlogging equipment and to give you guys a little idea um, I wear a Biltwell Gringo helmet I'm a big fan of Biltwell in general um, I built a chopper before I actually got this uh, Triumph and when I was going through that process Biltwell was a lifesaver to say the least so absolute big supporter of uh, Biltwell the helmet I wear is a Biltwell Gringo. Uh, they have the Biltwell Gringo normal normal helmet and they also have the S which has the, um, what is it, shield. Has a shield actually built into the helmet. Now I wear the normal Gringo and I just put a blast shield on it which is like a snap-on shield. So that's kind of what keeps the wind from the microphone. Now the microphone I got is one that I actually shopped around for on Amazon. It's cheap, it's like 10 bucks for the adapter and the microphone itself and I shopped around a lot because there's a lot of Chinese versions out there that are pure junk and they don't really work that well and so um, what I've done is yeah it's pretty chilly so yeah so the microphone <laughs> he's pretty stoked out on those new pipes so, so the microphone that I got uh, is just this $10 Amazon thing, but like I said, I shopped around, read a lot of reviews to make sure that this one wasn't going to, you know, go faulty, like right out, of the, right out of the box or within a couple tries. So far it's worked really well and I actually ordered a backup since it was only 10 bucks. so if anything ever happens with this one, that's what I'll do. Uh, my camera is mounted to my chin. It is mounted on, with using a, a sticky mount. The, the sticky mounts that come with the GoPro, the curved one, I was able to mount it on the chin of my helmet. It fits in a perfect spot. Doesn't doesn't obstruct my vision. Uh, let's see what else. Um, 
like I said, I use the blast shield. The blast shield really helps prevent the wind from coming in the open face part of the helmet. Uh, we use the mic adapter, a skeleton case. A skeleton case because you're going to need to be able to plug a microphone adapter into the side of your camera. And that is going to... Um, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter, which is like your normal headphone jack. Um, and it plugs into the adapter. And what I did, there was a lot of extra cord with the microphone that came with the microphone. So what I did is I took the microphone cord and I pulled the earpiece off of my helmet and I just kind of really nice and cleanly tucked the microphone cable back behind the ear pad and the microphone I actually used the ear pad to hold the microphone in place so I just tucked the microphone um, right out the the end of the ear pad and it seems to put it like right where my mouth is so it gets a really nice reception and uh, yeah, essentially that's it, you know, uh, chin mounted GoPro with microphone adapter on a built well gringo helmet um, and making sure that you have a blast shield, you know, for like protecting yourself from wind noise and stuff like that. But it's a great little setup, pretty cheap, um, definitely affordable. And um, yeah, I would highly recommend it. So what I'll do is I'll actually put um, links in the description of this video. Uh, to all the stuff that I use um, to do my moto vlogging. As usual, I want to send a big shout out and thank you to everybody for watching the vlog, taking the time to come on and, you know, just participate, subscribe. Um, I really appreciate it personally, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying doing this, so I appreciate the support and the subscribers and everybody that always says kind words and things like that. Um, definitely means a lot to me, so thank you very much.
So one of the things I was just talking with Matt about was uh, those of us that drive around and put our turn signals on and forget to turn them off. I know I'm guilty of it quite a bit. And it worries me a little bit sometimes, you know, because you're giving the person that, you know, you're trying to communicate with uh, car drivers and you're giving that person, you know, wrong indication of what your intentions are. So, um, talking about, man, if there was just some kind of like mechanism that like shut your turn signal off after like 10 seconds just so you know you weren't driving around or something that was accelerometer based and could tell that you actually did a turn and then turned your signals off based on that would be really nice uh, um, for example for situations just like that where that person wanted to pull out there right let's say I'm driving around with um, a left turn signal on right they they think that I'm gonna turn left like right here right here right well they're actually pulling out right here and you're kind of giving them the intention that hey I'm gonna turn left here if you're not planning on turning left there and they pull out in front of you that's that's no good man it's no bueno so that's, that's what we we're talking about just some sort of mechanism that would turn these things off because you know it's not really a new problem it's not a newbie problem uh, I've been riding bikes for shit a long time now um, with no exaggeration 16 or 17 years I've been riding on a consistent basis um, and I still forget to do it all the time <laughs> so it's definitely not a newbie thing <clears throat> sun's starting to come out so this is what we were talking about earlier where you know you'll see the sun start to break through the clouds about about one o'clock usually right now it's it's probably right around 11 o'clock a.m. and right around one o'clock all this fog will be burned off there won't be any fog uh, it'll be just a beautiful crystal clear sunny day and that's what our Junes are like um, after after the month of June, all this fog is, no, is non-existent. It's too warm for it, so. And a little bit about my bike. Um, I get a lot of compliments on the sound of my bike. And it was an easy upgrade, I gotta be honest with you. All it is, is I took the, I got the British Customs aluminum tips and I replaced the peace shooter slip-ons with it. I just pulled the peace shooters off and put these on. You don't have to remap your bike or anything. And it'll give it a nice, smooth, deep growl. Hear that, see? It's just, a, it sounds phenomenal, man. I mean, I... <laughs> I absolutely am in love with the sound of my bike and uh, the tips are made by British Customs if I didn't say that I don't remember um, they're aluminum they're really nice you can get them in uh, I believe like I believe they do have a copper set but that might be limited edition um, but they also have black polished and brushed I'm using the brushed um, they're about I think it was like a hundred dollars a little over a hundred dollars for the set for two and that was it, you know. Um, Pull the pea shooters off and put those on. Um, you know, I've got the the bar and mirrors, which are the Triumph branded bar and mirrors. And then um, I got the Dart Fly Screen. It's my most recent edition right here. Um, this is this version is the Marlin, and uh, it's great, man. I did. I, the reason I got that was because when I was riding naked, you know, when we get up to around 60 miles per hour. You can feel yourself like tugging off the back of the bike, get or at least getting pulled, pushed off of it. So this really, honestly, it it breaks the wind and puts it right over my helmet, like right over my helmet, not in my face. Um, I was I was thinking about getting the classic, but a lot of people said the classic was a little low. It's got a lower profile, like more like right down here. And uh, they the problem with it is they said it was sending the the wind right into their face. So. Other than that, man, this thing is great. I really feel that it helps um, comfort, especially over longer terms, a lot.
whenever you're doing these sharp turns, for those of you that are new to riding, just tuck your knees against your tank really good. Hold the tank really solid in between your knees. Squeeze your knees into your tank. You'll get some really solid stability. And it won't keep your, uh, it'll keep your center of gravity really nice and, and stiff. You don't want a lot of looseness. Um, it's one of the reasons I don't really like riding with passengers. I will ride with a passenger, but I'm not a big fan of riding with passengers. It's because it's like having a heavy, a uh, heavy top-sided, uh, or a top-heavy, like, pillion on the back of your bike, you know. If they shift their weight or whatever, you know, you gotta look out. You just gotta be conscious of that.
friendship bell, San Pedro. Kind of looks pretty cool with that fog blown across it. Beautiful day this has turned out to be. After all that fog, see this is why I was saying it burns off. Look at that. F fucking awesome, man. Well, thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to subscribe. Until next time, peace. Ride safe.